Hey guys, it's Jack from Reckless. I'll see you again today. And today I'm working on the Maverick Ion. Now, I had uh, a few minutes today to um, do a video that I've been planning on doing for a long, long while, but I never got around to it. So today I'm finally going to do it. So what we're doing, what we're doing is we're putting these aluminium bodied shocks onto the Ion. Now these are the best shocks you can buy for this this vehicle. Um, they're actually made by Himoto which make all kinds of clones of these vehicles and they can be found under the Himoto Mastodon I think it's called, that's the part number there for you. I'll put a link in the description for them anyway. Um, this is the easiest modification you could possibly do to the Ion and it can literally take you five minutes so I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. Um, what you'll need is you'll, you'll need the shocks obviously um, and the oil for the shocks. Uh, I'm using 30 but you can use it as all personal preference. These do have oil in them from when you buy them new but it's such a minimal amount they're not even full. I think it's just to lube them up so they don't rust them whilst they're in transit. And uh, last but not least you'll need some uh, kitchen roll or toilet paper or a towel or a piece of cloth. Anything you can use to wipe up the mess because it can be quite messy. Right, so first thing you want to do is so, oh, want to move everything out of the way. So I've got some space. Now taking these shocks off is really simple. Um, you can see there they're just on like a ball. They just pop off. Super easy. You just twist them, twist them, pull them until they come off. Two, three. You don't even need any tools whatsoever. To do this uh, modification so you can set that to one side now so you no longer need the old ones and uh, right first thing you want to do is you want to take out all the springs off of the shocks Now what I did do, you don't have to do this yourself, but what I did do is I made a little jig to hold them all upright whilst I fill them up. Um, basically, all I did was get a vise, put a bit of wood in it. I think they're eight mil holes, and as you can see, they fit. And they're perfect. So I'm gonna take the cap off them. This is where you want your kitchen roll, or your cloth really cap just screws off the top as you can see inside it's all wet it's got silicon in there so you want to take a bit of kitchen roll and push the piston up through and just wipe off any silicon that pops through another little tip is to roll the kitchen roll up you can also use like a q-tip or something to clean the insides out like that and then once they're empty, you can pop it into the stand and then just do the same with all the others. Right, so once you've done that, you want to get your silicon oil and um, just make sure the cap's off this one, it's not. I'm using Team Lossy Racing, but you can use any brand oil will do, as long as it's not too thick. But again, that's down to preference. And you want to fill them so they're just um, off the top, so the meniscus isn't on the top of the shock, because it will mold splurge out when you put the cap on. These don't hold very much at all. It's really messy, kind of get it everywhere. And then you want to take your towel and just dab off any extra that you put in there. Now 
Now the key thing when filling up shocks is you want to make sure there's no air in there whatsoever. And the way you do that is to push the piston up slowly so it doesn't overflow. So the oil goes underneath the piston and then pull it back down again. When you pull it back down it should draw the air bubbles with it. I don't know if that picks up on camera but the tiny little air bubbles in there. Once the air bubbles are in there you want to leave it to stand for five minutes. Right so after five minutes you can put the cap on. Now this is the time when you found out whether it's over full or not because it'll all come out when you tighten the cap up. Now they do have a hex on them but I find finger tight is more than enough to seal them. See how it returns itself. Maybe it would have been better with a bit of thicker oil but we'll see how it goes. The last one took a little bit of persuasion, but uh, I got it in there in the end. Right, so once you've done that, you can then put your springs back on. Finally, you can put them back on the car. Putting them on is just the same as the way you take them off, you just push them on and they pop over the, the balls. And there we have it, so so as well as the um, bodies being stronger because they're made out of aluminium, they also look a lot better. So stay tuned if you want to see the video of this going over the jumps and testing out the new shocks. Um, that will be uploaded probably within about a week or so, probably this time next week and yeah stay tuned over christmas we've got some good videos coming for you and um, towards christmas and in the new year we've got a lot of new content coming and something a little different so uh, yeah if you like the video drop a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed be sure to subscribe and uh peace <laughs>